top five cryptocurrencies to mine in 2019 with your GPU and CPU. So let's mine away. Hello guys, bit truth here. Today we're going to talk about five cryptocurrencies that are really profitable to mine okay, and accumulate throughout 2019. You know, these cryptocurrencies can go from the most technological to the most secure and private. So let's start with the fifth cryptocurrency and it is Ravencoin. Now some people are going to say, why do you have Ravencoin on the fifth K okay, place? Why don't you have it on the first or second? Now, the problem with Ravencoin is not the community meetups or the technological advancements or any, you know, movement in its, you know, in its project or roadmaps. They have a lot of roadmaps, okay, and white papers about the algorithm, you know, all the GitHub, you know, downloadables and in different languages. The problem is with Binance, you know, Binance got banned by the American regulators like the SEC and such. You know, and they have opened the Binance.us, as you all know. And the problem with the Binance.us is that it has like couple cryptocurrencies, mainly Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, I think, Litecoin, XRP, all the cryptocurrencies that are th that I think are registered with the SEC or something. So the whole thing is about why you know Ravencoin is not listed there. You know, maybe it's not you know regulated. Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm not up to date with the regulation and all that stuff with Ravencoin, but it would be interesting to see how it will play out, to see how Ravencoin will react to this movement, because, you know, 40% of all Ravencoins are traded on Binance, and we do not know how many, you know, of that volume, okay, of that percentage is from the US mainly. Okay, now it dropped to 26, but, you know, a couple days ago it was at 40, so it keeps changing depending on the exchanges, so... I'm not sure how many Americans okay, are trading Ravencoin. I hope the percentage is really low, not because they don't need to trade it, but because you know we don't want to lose okay, on the value of Ravencoin and the you know the whole project because the project is really promising. But until you know other exchanges come through and maybe you know it gets regulated, I think Ravencoin might as well be in the top ten. The fourth cryptocurrency is Eon. Now Eon has the same problem as Ravencoin. Okay, even though it's one of the best cryptocurrencies because it has a decentralized applications platform so you could build your own application okay decentralized application you know 40 percent right here i think it's even more like 41 42 okay percent on binance and again we do not know how many percentage are trading from the us so i hope it's really low so these projects don't get affected and it's basically a decentralized platform to build you know decentralized applications Okay, uh, I'm not sure, you know, what the statistics are, like how many have been built or something or interactions. So I think I'll have to do more research on the part of Eon, but there have been a lot of people that have been, you know, convincing me this is going to be one of the biggest and best projects in the space. And I hope it really would be, you know, because I have a lot of, you know, requests and emails that I get daily about Eon and people, you know, sponsoring Eon and all that stuff like people really love this project so i really put it in the fourth place and especially with their community developments as you can see like every single month they have at least have like 10 20 videos okay you know just blockchain meetups blockchain conferences okay uh, interviews with other people now i know that the view count is really low okay maybe because of the frequency of uploading but don't let that, you know, uh, deter you from investing or mining the cryptocurrency project, you know, because it's one of the best and I really like the idea of Eon and I hope this cryptocurrency project can progress and really achieve one of the best marks. Now, the third cryptocurrency, okay, is Loki. Loki is one of the cryptocurrencies and I've been interested in, in since its infancy because it has been just only since November 2018, okay. Some cryptocurrencies have been here in the cryptocurrency space for five years and they didn't achieve something and that, you know, talks a, a lot about everything. Now here it's listed on KuCoin. Also a problem about Eon that I forgot to say. I think it's not about Eon, it's about other cryptocurrency coming, sorry. Anyways, the interesting thing about Loki, it has like a full decentralized applications platform. And the interesting thing, it's untraceable and secure. Okay, in terms of transactions and usability, it's like literally an alternative of a VPN other than getting a VPN it's literally you know you have complete anonymity private applications and they have like the low-key messenger that would be interesting to play out and they have like half a dozen you know developers and leading developers okay they have the roadmaps and white papers all like in seven different languages I really like the idea of 
know, cryptocurrency projects that are community driven and they don't have any ICOs or anything and it really scoring a lot of targets and, and slim timelines. So I really like the idea of Loki. And the interesting thing about Loki is that it's one of these like crypto night, you know, forked coins. So you can mine it with your RX Vegas RX cards, you know, like the RX 580, the AMD Vegas. So here we have the AMD Vega 64 as you can see and um, it's actually uh, and the hash rate is about I think it's on the turtle pico thing so it's 40,820 he 40, 14,000 so it's about seven cents a day now some people are going to be actually you know just like shocked like seven cents a day are you serious but you know it depends like some people have AMD 64 some people have the RX 580s I think it really depends and you know, you always don't mind the project because of profitability. Just like the people who mined one Bitcoin per day back in 2010. You always need to believe in the project and always have faith in the project, okay? And also depending on your cards. And, you know, I hope this project has one of the best, you know, performances. Because I really like the idea of, like, privacy tools, you know, and incentivized internet, you know, low-key net, okay, coming also. So it's really interesting, okay? So you could actually add that. Now one more cryptocurrency, this is the second cryptocurrency, it's Vertcoin. Now I don't care what people say about Vertcoin, okay, about its prices. Now it has a lot of problems and I think, you know, I think uh, the community has to try to solve these problems some way. Okay, it has been since, you know, 2014, so five years, okay, of development. And they keep posting, like, seriously, consistently, every single month, like, at least two weeks between them spread you know they have like vert coin talks vert coin development the vert hash something new they have done so i really like the idea of this and they have like they had no pre-mine no ico and no airdrop now i think ravencoin did not have any pre-mine right i'm not sure okay because i've been in ravencoin since its start but i did not hear of any pre-mines or icos no no icos Anyways, back to Vertcoin. The problem with Vertcoin is the regulation. If you don't, if you're not the KYC fanatic and you're a KYC compliant, you will have to go and resort to exchanges that have zero dollars in volume, because Upbit, Bittrex, and Coinegg all have high, you know, KYC compliance. Okay, so you will need to get, you know, your passport or driver's license, you know, to buy Vertcoin. Okay, to even sell it, you know, I'm not sure if there's sellers or like peer-to-peer -peer sellers, like I know there are peer-to-peer -peer buyers, but sellers, like you might sell to a buyer, like I hope you find a buyer in the end, so I hope there's other exchanges than these, if you're not KYC compliant, maybe you can find other solutions. Anyways, Vertcoin is no pre-mine, no ICO, and no airdrop, you can also you know, donate to the Vertcoin developers team. And the interesting thing about Vertcoin, this member called Canon, okay, he's one of the Vertcoin developers. Okay, he's a really, you know, good guy and he has been supporting the community development. You know, the interesting thing about these cryptocurrencies that I have picked, okay, they are mostly community funded, okay, with projects that go through the roof. Yes, the ranks is not, you know, the highest, you know, 184, for example, 465, you have 135, okay, here also 39, you know, maybe Raven Queen is a bit high, but most of them, they're not that high, okay, and they have, like, promising projects, so you could also add this to your uh, whole, uh, you know, collection. Now, this binds on the Lyra 2 Rev 2, or I think they have actually forked from that, so it still works on NVIDIA cards, if you have GTX 1080 Ti's. But if you really care about the profitability per day, you will have to resort to cryptocurrencies like Beam or Greencoin if you care about the profitability per day. But longevity is key. So the number one cryptocurrency, the cryptocurrency that is, you know, the number one, K, okay, I cannot doubt it, okay, is Haven Protocol. Now, this cryptocurrency, a lot of people are going to say, like, what the hell, you know, where's the total supply? It's down there, but one second, okay, why is it rank really far? Now, I've never bought, you know, Haven Protocol. I've traded it and mined it, mined it, so I did not really, you know, buy it outright. But, you know, the interesting thing about Haven Protocol is their project. You know, if we go here, okay, their project is basically be your offshore bank. Now, the problem in the world, if you don't know about the offshore banking and 
you know, companies and shelf companies because it's becoming harder and harder to actually open your offshore companies and becoming, you know, at the same time secure and privacy and all that stuff because if you don't know, Swiss banks actually now are not the most private, maybe back in the 80s and 90s right now okay, Swiss banks are uh, really with the government, anything that has to do with taxes or anything they actually submit it, so there is no secure bank right now, all banks are like with the you know FATCA and you have the K CIS so they're all like KYC compliant and they all like information sharing so everything is transparent okay like people who want to all open like an offshore bank for example you want to have a company offshore for example you have you know your international operations for example Binance okay Binance okay they have international operations they will need a uh, you know a bank account now I'm not saying they will go into Haven Protocol, okay? You know they will go to offshore bank, but you know it's becoming harder and harder to actually open a bank account. So what Haven Protocol does is open a bank account offshore. You know they have the XUSD, the X Euro, the X Franc. Basically, every Haven dollar XUSD is one dollar worth with XHV. Now the problem is, okay, the problem is that this cryptocurrency. Okay, will turn into a private coin shortly after and we will never know the total supply because the total supply to ever be I think it's around here it's written 18 18 million coins now when the test net launches okay the problem will be that we will never know the total supply and the whole team which is faceless okay and that's a problem also they say you know it might also you know I said the possibility of it tanking because no one knows the total supply but at the same time some people were really optimistic you know it also could skyrocket so it's really an interesting project from the terms of you know view that this could be a huge gamble either it will work out and really become a billion dollar idea because either people will buy this cryptocurrency and believe in its technology or no one will believe it and everyone will dump it so it's like speculative mining okay, in some way and they have been like since a year so I'm not sure if that's like you know an evidence to you that it's legit but don't buy it outright I suggest you mine it okay buying it will be really risky what if the project dumps what if the idea you know gets censored by some government okay so really the idea it's in infancy and you know there's a lot of problems I think that should get sorted and with the total supply being disappeared and when the testnet launches okay and the haven dollar the problem is with cryptocurrencies okay they are not really you know you have crypto to crypto trading pairs but also the US dollar you know the euro they lose value okay by inflation every single year 2% 4% 5% in certain cases so how will that play out so in one year for example one XUSD will be worth for example 0.5 XHV so next year it's like one USD is worth 0.455 for example XHV so there's a lot of problems with this project but I think speculative mining it it will be actually really interesting seeing where this project will really go and they're really different you know from Monero and you know Zcash because you can buy other you know uh, currencies that are worth the XHV but still it's in its infancy so the thing is you can mine this with your RX Vegas you will make 71 cents a day but you will make about you know 1.21 dollars in revenue so 0.49 cents a day in profit or 0 0.67 0 0.74 cents a day okay in just you know just estimate you know revenue so I would suggest if you want to speculative mine Haven protocol might be the way okay and if you're really about one day okay, profitability you can stick to green coin or whatever is hot on the market for example most people stick to whatever is profitable for example oh the 1080 ti let's go to beam coin or uh, green so there's different priorities for every different person so actually identify yourself in the market and see if you're a capital gains investor so are you for the long term with these cryptocurrencies haven protocol vertcoin loki okay eon ravencoin or are you more of a short term you know uh, investor and you just take care of daily profits so thank you guys for watching this video from big truth and see you guys on the next video